Doug, about as far as playoff positioning, did you see yourself at this point in the season where you are? I don't really look at it, you know, in terms of playoffs or whatever. I think it's more about progress and it's more about, you know, are we getting better? And, and I think that, you know, I guess I'm, I'm on this day-to-day -day thing where I'm doing that, where I'm looking at, okay, how, how much do we need to improve in this area or that area? But then you look at it from a big picture a couple years now and, and you feel like there's good progress made. I don't know where that means, you know, we'll end up at the end of the day. I don't know how that impacts us tonight, but I know that uh, hopefully we can continue making small strides every day and we'll end up where we end up. You know, that's the way I've always looked at it. Results take care of themselves and focus on the, the task at hand. Kelly, talk about the game tonight. What are your thoughts on the, what's it going to take for you guys to come out victorious? Um, no, we just got to come on and play our game, move the ball, play top on both ends of the floor, play together. What did you learn from the first in, uh, encounter with the Clippers? And they're a good team. You know, they got you know, a lot of players who can do a lot of things. Um, you know, they're tough. You know, they're fast, shooting the ball. But you just got to make sure that you play your style of basketball. You want to play. You can't let them dictate you. Let's talk about your growth and advancement in the league now that you've been in the league for a few years. What are your thoughts as far as your progress? You know, just trying to go out there and get better each day. And what about the team's positioning as far as where you're seated in the East? You guys are seated in a playoff position. Yeah, we're in the playoffs right now, but you know, there's a bunch of games left and we got to take care of business. And what are your thoughts closing it out? What is it going to take? Like I said before, you know, you just got to play our style of basketball and just take care of our business. All right. Well, Joy, thanks. Thank you. Well, let's talk about the game tonight. What are your thoughts as far as what's going to take to come out victorious? You know, it's uh, always a tough game against the Clippers, especially here in L.A. Uh, we always have battles against them, so just, uh, first and foremost, you know, DeAndre in the paint, and uh, they got a lot of good three-point shooters, so try to stop that. As far as where you are in the league now, your development and growth, how do you feel you're doing in your your ability to contribute to the team's success? You know, I feel like I'm a part of the team here. Uh, you know, we're building something, and uh, we know we can beat every team. And uh, I know the team appreciates what I do. And you know, I'm just trying to trying to get better every day, and trying to get out there and help my team. And uh, that's uh, you know, we've been, we had a good season so far. So I'm trying to build this into the playoffs. Who's inspired you when you were coming up? What player did you try to emulate? It's been a lot of different players, uh, but you know, growing up in Sweden, didn't have a lot of basketball, so you know, my dad always inspired me to, to get better and, and help me out. What was it like growing up in Sweden and then coming to play NBA basketball? How big of a dream was that for you? Oh, it's, you know, you dreamt about that as a kid. You know, you, uh, you didn't know it was it was possible until you know you, you were 17, 18 years old and, and you were playing professionally and. Uh, in Sweden and the team started calling and stuff like that, you, you kind of seen that it was possible. And uh, from there, you know, a lot of, a lot of hours in the gym and, and, uh, and the dream came true. What was your motivation, inspiration, or philosophy that you live by in order to, you know, propel yourself to this level? I've always wanted to win. I think that's what it is, you know, going, going to play in Sweden and win the championship there and then going to Italy and just trying to win every game and, and basically that's it, you know, working hard and, and trying to win. What's been the highlight of your career thus far? Um, you know, just getting to the NBA and, and, and getting to the playoffs and then, uh, and, you know, now we're here and, and, you know, trying to make new goals come true and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm hoping that uh, that it's in front of me. Any particular player you get especially excited about facing or defending or playing against? Uh, not really. Um, you know, when I'm out there, I don't really see that who, I, who it is. I just try to win. Like I said, you know, I kind of just just trying to get in that mode, and you don't really care who you're playing against. You're just trying to get that win and help your team. All right, Jerome, what's up, man? Miss you, brother. Hope you're having a good time in Europe. Take it easy. Thanks. What are your thoughts? Are you are playing up at expectation, above expectations, or what? Uh, I, I, I mean, 
I think I somewhat we're flowing around a little bit. Our expectation, I guess. I mean, at the same time, we lost a few games that would have definitely helped us be higher, you know, in the rankings. But, you know, right now, we're not really worried about the standards or anything as opposed to, you know, really sharpening our blades to be prepared for the playoffs. You know, so, you know, we, we don't want to peak in, you know, mid-March or March, you know. I think we still have a lot more room to grow, so. What's making you guys as good as you are? I mean, considering where you are and the teams that that you face, what what makes you guys so so good? I think we do. Uh, we have a high emphasis on our preparation. Uh, we actually try to play team ball, move the ball around, and um, you know we're a blue collar team, so you know we don't try to make it look pretty. We try to muck up the game. You know, be physical and and, and you know set a set a tone defensively. What makes you so good? What's your motivation, inspiration as a person, as a player? I'm not just a competitor, to tell you the truth. Um, when you break it down, um, I like to compete. You know, I like to have fun and uh, and play basketball and stuff like that. So you know, after you get all the materialistic things, you know, when, when it comes down to it. I think it says a lot about you as an individual, as a person, uh, what you want to do and, you know, just for the sake of, you know, yourself, you know. Right, right now, a lot of people just rest on what they have and, you know, the laurels and everything like that. But I love to compete and, you know, I've done it for a long time for free and I would still do it for free. Who was your inspiration as you were growing up as a player, person, or? Yeah, well, I was from Chicago, you know what I'm saying? So MJ was a big deal. Uh, my favorite athlete ever is Muhammad Ali, though. So, I always like uh, what he's what he's still for, you know, inside his craft and outside as a person and as a icon and a humanitarian. Well, what about going down the stretch? What are your thoughts as finishing out the season in preparation for the playoffs? Yeah, just playing tough, man, playing hard, you know, sticking with the sticking with the script. You know, that's the biggest thing. Not uh not trying to mail any games in. We have nine games left. And you know, we're we're you know, coming ready to, to battle for all nine. Yeah, thanks, bro.